Hello everybody, welcome back to Steak Insanity. I have no idea what day it is. I think it's 131 or 132, something like that. As you can see, I've moved outdoors. I got some new kit. So I got a Rode Wireless, 2, Wireless Pro 2 um, lavalier mic. So I can be like all the cool kids. And um, so I'm outside and the weather started to get nicer in the UK. This is really the first day that I've had a chance to even get outside where it was warm enough and, and I thought it looked nice enough. So just thought I would do an update from out here today instead of in my, in my office at home. Um, the one thing that I wanted to talk about today is obviously in my last couple of videos, I've talked about maybe changing my diet, doing more of a ketovore kind of thing. Um, but what I found is, is that adding stuff back into my diet has absolutely ripped my stomach and my digestion apart. I think that it takes a few days. So from my observation and, and the observation of some other people that I've seen, uh, vegetable police is one, he talks about this quite often. Um, but what happens is, is if, if you're on strict diet on, on carnivore diet, fairly strict, and you have sort of one cheat meal, you can, your body can kind of tolerate that. So it will, it'll go, oh, okay, we've got this thing, but we're just going to push it through and just kind of ignore it. And just, you'll just continue on. But if, even if you have very small amounts and increase your intake of different things consistently over a few days, I think that's when all of the bad bacteria and all the stuff starts to happen in your gut again. And I've felt terrible. I felt ill. Um, I've felt like, like I've had constant sort of gas and that sort of thing for several days. And the only thing I'm doing different is I've changed my diet a little bit. So I'm going back to, to stricter carnivore and see if that sorts it out. And if it does, then that, you know, that'll pretty much be that. And then I'll have to just maintain on strict carnivore almost whether I want to or not. And, um, so anyway. That's fun. The training got back in the gym today, obviously, because I'd had a little bit of carbs every day, a little bit more than I'm used to. Um, I felt amazing, had a great run, felt really strong. I did take yesterday off because I felt absolutely horrendous. So bad that I laid down on the floor in my office for a few minutes and I just, I couldn't even I thought I was going to have to go home and, and maybe even be sick. I felt terrible. So I didn't work out. I did have a day off. And then I came home last night, stayed strict. I was able to eat something at lunch. And then I came back, had some dinner, strict carnivore, just had some beef, didn't have anything else, uh, and just some water. I didn't have anything, no dairy, no tea, no milk, no nothing. And woke up this morning. Again, so yesterday uh, I did have, so before I got sick, I had electrolytes in the morning and I had some macadamia nuts in the mid morning. And after I had those two things, that's when I started to feel terrible, but I don't think it was related to them individually. I think it was just because I'd had a few things that weren't on the diet over the past few days. And I think it was that few days building up that really is what made the difference. So anyway, went back to the diet this morning, had, um, I had water this morning. I took my vitamins and everything, just very, very cautious, went to breakfast. So my wife and I went to the biker cafe that we go to and we went and just had a, a, a breakfast with bacon and eggs and was pretty, pretty good about that. And, and then I went, I had a coffee this afternoon. And then I went to the gym this afternoon. And again, like I said, I felt okay. I felt fine today. Um, or let's say 85%, but I didn't feel ill or anything like that. But my stomach was still a bit um, upset. And I, I think what's happened though is that the, it kind of feels like I'm hungry. And I think that's because I'm out of keto. And my body's saying, well, you need to eat more. Whereas when I was in keto, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have felt that way. So I need to get myself back into keto. So that's what I'm working on today. And um, 
oh, I just realized I still have these things in. So um, I'm not listening to them. They were just in from when I was editing a video a minute ago. And yeah, so that's where I am today. I'm going to stay on the diet, back to being very strict. I've got big event coming up. I wanted to, I did want to actually lose a bit of weight before the event. So I thought I'm going to go super strict on the diet, see if I can lose maybe just a couple of pounds so I'll feel better about myself and see what happens. So expect maybe a couple of more, more videos, more, more frequently, just while I'm trying to get back on track and see if I can get myself back feeling better. So I'll try and report in every day and just let you know how it's going and how I feel and the things that I'm eating to see if maybe that sorts it out or if it's something else. Maybe it's I'm actually under a, a bit of stress with work and some other stuff. So I don't know if maybe that's factoring into it or not. But anyway, I was just more excited to try my my camera out outside and I thought I had something uh, to talk about. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well and we will see you soon. Bye bye.